turkeys, uh, welcome. How many turkeys are you going to serve on uh, Thursday? Well, last last year we sold 20 million, uh, 21 million turkeys. So what? Actually, yeah, it, it, enough to fill 30 Boeing 747s. Quite quite incredible. And I assume that you serve the trimmings as well. I can sign up for a package and, and you can do a feast for a yeah. dozen if I want. Yeah, yeah, we're the holiday experts. Our goal is to bring the entire t family around the table it, with all kinds of meal options to suit any size of celebration. Talk to me about delivery and how that has changed, expanded, challenged your business. Yeah. Uh, well, for us, our food travels incredibly well. In fact, I don't think there's food that travels better than, than Boston Market food, so we're very well positioned for delivery. Because it doesn't get soggy. It doesn't get soggy. It's not a, like a it's French fries. fries. It's like a French fry. French yeah. fries lose it in 12 <laughs> That's minutes. Right. So if as the driver a, doesn't eat them all by the time it gets to your house. As arrives in great shape. Uh, we know that from consumer feedback from all th third parties. So we've really leaned into delivery. We think it's about consumer meeting expectations for frictionless convenience. So the founder of Uber, Travis Kalanick, is putting $500 million into ghost kitchens. Yes. Kitchens without a restaurant attached, just yep. for delivery. Are you doing that? Yeah, no, we're absolutely going to broaden the reach of our, of our brand. By leaning into virtual restaurants, we're going to test virtual restaurants early next year. We're going to partner with Grubhub and Uber Eats. And it'll be a fast, uh, casual, modern fast, casual concept with a cool vibe. Um, and it'll be Boston market food that is served with a more modern twist. So we're aiming at people who are heavy delivery users who are not really into chain restaurants but looking for... Uh, you, you know, they're not food snobs either, so they're looking for a bit more of a modern uh, twist on great food. What, apart from Thanksgiving Day, yeah. which we know what people would order then, what are the biggest selling items? Uh, well, we, uh, our rotisserie, rotisserie chicken, chicken, our rotisserie still, chicken yeah. is, uh, is, you were is Boston off the charts. Chicken. I mean, I'm we old were Boston remember chicken. That, yeah. um, and it's still our most popular food item, and we slow roast it for 90 minutes. Um, and it comes straight off the spit and into your uh, into your meal or onto your sandwich. So very quick answer: plant-based foods, uh, meats. You yep. experimenting there at all? Oh no, we're looking at it. Look, it's obviously something that the consumer really wants, and uh, so we're talking to our suppliers right. about about what the options are, whether for rotisserie uh, chicken or meatloaf or meatballs. Francis, thanks very much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy